So next part, we will show you about how to connect, connect the, the solo power system. Yes, welcome and our each part. Yes, welcome our colleague Lucy and Joy. Welcome. Hello, I'm Lucy. Hello, I'm I'm Joey from Fossa Masola. Welcome, our new friend. Hello, Hello welcome, welcome to our show. So here, in this part, we are going to introduce the different uh, the connection yes. of the solar system. Uh, we can see we have built a mini size solar systems. Just want to show you how to do the connection for the solar systems. When you get the solar systems, actually we have provided everything. To, to you, include the solar panel, controller, combiner, hello, hello. Uh, inverter, and the connectors. All, all, all things have, in, have finished. So when you get it, you can install and use it right now. So now we are speaking for the install the solar system now. Yeah. Firstly, the security will be the first things we need to pay attention. Hello. hello, welcome our new friends to our lab shop. Here we are doing the small uh, showing about the whole system installation. So you can stay here and learn and also ask some questions if you want to know. Yes. So firstly, we need to make sure our safety is because there are some appliances have the 20, uh, 212 watts voltage. So it will be, the, it will be a dangerous for, for, for the installations. So it, firstly, you, you, you should... Uh, uh, you, you show an installation, you do the installations, you need to have some knowledge for the mm. electricity. Professional yeah. electrician, professional electrician. Even we offer the installation. Hello, Hello. Welcome. welcome our new friends. Now we are uh, showing the system, whole system installation. Hello, Hello. welcome our new friends. Uh, from the installation, we will offer the manual and connection. Yes. But we also suggest clients to Hello. Hello, welcome our new friends. We also suggest our clients to find a professional electrician yes. who has the knowledge about the electricity. Because it will be have, uh, the voltage is 212, it's, uh, it's dangerous for the people who don't have experience or knowledge for the electricity. Mm. The, the security will be the first thing we need to. The second, we need to use the sound security equipment, like the- Hello, like the, welcome our new friends. Like to use this Glove to make to protect yourself. Mm. Oh, okay, let's start for a electrician gloves. Yes. So, uh, if you have any questions about the system connection, you can send here to us, and we will show you. We we'll answer here, and each part, including the cables, including its connector, how to use, how to connect. Everything is very clearly here, so you can stay here and learn from us and also ask some questions to maybe teach other clients who has the interest in. You can also share our live show to your friends because this maybe they have the interest in or they want to do this business. Yes, you can follow our live show. Hello, welcome. You can follow our live show to get more free information for the solar systems. No matter you need to use the solar system or not, mm. that will be very useful for you. Okay. So, so the firstly, first part is about the solar panels, right? Yes. Mm. We, see, we see here with our panels 36, 36 voltage. Yes, that's the, battery, that's the voltage for, for the each pass solar panels. So each pass solar panel, the voltage is 36. Mm. So uh, for example, if I want to get a, a, a one kilowatt solar system, how we should do join? Uh, one kilowatt, maybe you will need three panels, right? Yeah. So we uh, need each panel to be parallel connection to the PV combiner. Okay. Uh, to the machine. So this is the parallel connection. Parallel means uh, from the solar panel to to the to the combiner. Yes, and and that should be the because it is not serious. It is parallel, so it should be the positive to the positive. Negative to the negative. This is parallel connection. Okay. Okay. So why we ask? Uh, you need to find a professional electrician because we need to mind these small things. Yes. Mm. Parallel. Okay. So if it's in a bigger system, yes. it is maybe need like this two or four pieces in series yes. or more. Yes. So why we make the voltage here and 
in each system, different power, how to connect them. Yes, so we, let, actually now in the market, the 14A was, the 14A volt, uh, 48 volt DC voltage systems is the most popular because oh. they are um, suitable to use the normally homes. Yes. Uh, so let's share a, uh, share a sample for, for the, uh, if in your 48 PC, uh, voltage systems, you will connect two PC solar panels in series. Mm. What, let, is, let, what is the series? Mm. What is the meaning of series? Okay, come here. Come here, we see here. This is the serial conditions. The negative connect with the positive. There, mm. are, there are negative is from one solar panel. The positive is from another solar panel. So they are connected in series. That can, that mean one PC solar panel, there are 36 watts. Two PC solar panel connect in series. That means that the voltage is 74. Yes, now he has fits very, very stable. Mm. Waterproof, this one, MC4. Okay. And, and we have applied these connectors in each solar panels, and we also applied some additional uh, connectors with your solar system package. So now we finish for the two PC solar panel connections. Mm. Now next part, the solar panel connection will come, we are together to to the to, to to the combiners. Now you have you have the each solar panel has one positive and two, one negative. One positive and negative has Hello, connect. welcome our new friends. So you have another positive and another negative will come out. There are this positive and negative are from two pieces of solar panels. This mm -hmm. is the negative from the first solar panel and the ne positive from the second solar panel. Yeah, so we, this, this means one string. Okay, one string will go to our PV combiner. Here our showing is 48 DC voltage system, which means the four panels will be two strings because each two pieces in series. Each two pieces in series. So I will have two strings come to the PV combiner. But here I just show one because the a space, okay. So here must have two. Come to our PV commander. Our PV commander has okay, many so, kinds. So it will be the solar panel will be come. Will be come. You have the solar input positive and the solar input negative. In it will be come 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 from, come from that the solar panels, and it will connect of the waterproof. You will have some connectors inside the PV arrival combiners. So the solar panel will come into in these terminals. Mm. So uh, from every strings of the solar panels, here is the positive, com P positive PV input. Yes. PV input positive. Hello, welcome. Here is the negative input. Here, so how, how many strings? For example, in our five kilowatt system, we have four strings. Four strings. One, two, three, four. Four all, all need to be connected because one one there is one client. He just connect two, okay. and ask me why uh, why I need so many holes because I need two. Okay. Okay. I I I, I told him that this should be fully connected. So hello, hello welcome, welcome to welcome Muhammad from. Hello, hello, welcome. Now we are showing the connection of the solar system. And here is the PV input, PV input, PV combiner part. So here, all need to connect. Positive in, negative in, and then? We are, the, the, solar, the PV electricity, we are come across these cables and we are come get together in the output, output terminals. It also has a anti-lighting protection switch in it. Because there are some solar panel with. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome our new friends. Okay, From so US. you want to know these solar systems? Yes, we can. You you can tell us that you your home appliance uh, capacities, your your instruction areas, or the your monthly electricity consumptions. 
Yes. And we can apply the free solar system design for you. So when it, when the solar panel comes into the PV array combiner input, then it will come close to the one one pair will come close to to the output, and one pair will come into the anti lighting yeah. protections. So here I have a question. Yeah. Do I need to do any work with this? No need. Actually, because I see here just two. I see here just two. Actually, we have made uh, all the connection inside for the users. Mm. This connection is not need to. Yeah. For the users, he need to pay attention for the solar input positive, solar input negative, and the output. And the output. And this part, don't to do anything. Okay. Yes. Don't to do. We have finished the connections and make sure everything are no problem mm. and uh, saveable to use. So we will send to the, our customers. Yeah. For users, you so now you need uh, you need to after you finish the connection for the PV input. Positive and negative. Then next, you will need to connect the uh, PV output, positive and the negative. Yeah, we, we have the to only two points, two pairs. You need to to install the cables. Yes. So uh, with our manual, with our connection, the system is plug and play. You do not need to do any adjustment, any other work. Just the part we have mentioned in our manual. Okay. So. Coming uh, PV input coming in, and then output will go to where? Let's go. It will be come to the solar controller. This cable will con connect output in the PV array combiner, and we are come into to the the MPPD solar controllers. We can see in the MPPD solar controller, it have the PV input terminals, battery terminals, and DC output terminals. For the users, you only need to connect the, these PV input terminals and the battery uh, uh, terminals. For the DC output terminals, normally don't connect it because yeah. there are, uh, there are for, 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 for special use, there are some, some special use. So the normally solar systems, you will only need to, to connect the PV input. One is from the uh, PV RAM output and the one another terminal is in the PV input. And after the solar panel we are come into solar power we are come into the solar controller. Mm. And the controller the, the function is to charge the solar power to the batteries. So it we are it will connect the battery now. Yeah just two parts. Okay. So uh, PV uh, MPPT charge controller is used for charging the batteries. Used to charging the batteries. Hello, welcome. So, to our battery, clients are asking the questions. Uh, if anything I need to buy after I receive the goods and when I'm going to do the installation, no need. We equip everything for our clients, even the cables with the connectors made by the machines. They are very firm. Okay, each part, this, this is a uh, 35 centimeters, and this is two meters each cable from the MPPT charge controller to your battery, and from the battery to your inverter. So now have the one pair of cables is from the controller, controller battery terminals, and it will have a switch. We have this switch in your package, so you can use and install it. Then the, it will have a Controller connector we are come into the batteries. This is a 48 piece voltage battery bank because this system is 48. Each bat each battery is 12 volts. Four pieces 12 volt battery connect in series. Then the volt the battery voltage will be around uh, 43 to uh, 15, uh, 15 3, this range. So. So the the uh, the controller will connect one pair of cables to the in, to the batteries. Mm. So next part, it will be the battery will connect with the inverters. Inverter, yeah. Yeah. So they will have another pairs between the battery and the inverters. The so it also have a switch between the 
uh, inverter to and the batteries. Mm. Then it will it, ha it will connect with the uh, inverter battery terminals. Mm. Uh, why we make the switch for our clients? Because uh, when before you finish the whole system connection, this switch is off. Okay, now it's off until everything is everything is okay. We can test the battery voltage if the voltage correct or not, yes. and then we can start to turn on the whole system. So you, if, when you need to check the battery voltage, you need to use the disk monitors, and this is. Hello, welcome. Uh, this is the voltage DC voltage settings. This is the, another is the AC voltage settings. So uh, the battery voltage is. It's DC power voltage, so you need to set the these meters in the DC voltage settings. Now the you have the positive and the negative in the in the so we can see the the battery voltage is fifty zero point nineteen ninety nine. So the battery voltage is in normally. It is normal, and because it is made by four pieces of the twelve voltage, now the battery are full. Full means it will maybe it will over than twelve volts. So if because twelve uh, times p four pieces are forty eight. So some some hello hello welcome our new friends. Hello, uh, now we are testing the system working, and here we are, before we finish the system connection and want to turn it on, we need to test the battery voltage if it is correct or not. This is a 48, 48 DC voltage system, so the battery in 50 is correct, normal. Okay, and here you cannot see, you, you can see here the voltage is correct. Okay, so we can turn on the system. We can turn on the system now. It means that the battery voltage is normally means that the battery connection is correct. Then we can start for the for the uh, to to start the inverter now. Yeah. Okay. We turn, okay. First, we turn on the battery. Turn on switch. the battery. Get let the electricity come to the inverter. And then make the inverter start. Before the inverter start normally, don't connect anything with. Only connect the battery with the inverters. Don't connect the light the appliance. Any appliance or any uh, city powers in this place. So now the, the inverter is working normally now. Mm. Then you can start to connect another light uh, uh, city power or the uh, your appliance, then can connect with the inverter now. Mm. So this is the whole way. All the parts we have introduced in this, v uh, in this live show from the solar panels connection to the inverter.